Hello everybody, let's start our lesson. The theme of our lesson is apologizing and accepting an apology. Кешерим сырау, кешерим беру. Просить прощения, прощать. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use the expressions according apologizing in your speech. The new words for today, delay, announcement, sticker, Handle Trip Exercise 1. Listen and repeat. Fancy seeing you here. My flight has been delayed. Where are you off to? Have you ever been waiting long? I'd better go and check my flight too. I think you've taken my bag. Oh, did I? You are right. I'm terribly sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. Have a good trip. Exercise 2. The sentence above are from a dialect between two friends. Where are they? What happened? Listen, read, and check. Hey, Ryan. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hi, Todd. Why off to? Rome. Just for the weekend. How about you? Glasgow. But my flight has been delayed. Really? Have you been waiting long? Three hours, and there haven't been any announcements for a while. Oh. Then I better go and check my flight too. See you later, Ryan. Bye. Oh, Todd, wait. I think you've taken my bag. Oh, did I? I didn't realize we had the same bag. Yeah, I guess we do. But mine's got a sticker on the handle. You're right. I'm terribly sorry about that. Here you are. Oh, don't worry about it. Have a good trip. Thanks, and you too. Now you can learn more spoken English apologizing expressions. Number one. Oops, sorry. Or, sorry about that. Say these phrases for very small accidents and mistakes, like when you step on someone's foot. Number two. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry that, and I apologize for. Say these phrases to apologize for specific bad things you did. The last one, I apologize for, is more formal. Here are some examples. I'm sorry for yelling at you. I'm sorry that I yelled at you. I apologize for my behavior. Number three, it was my fault. Say this phrase to accept your responsibility for the mistake. Number four. I'm so sorry and I'm really sorry. These phrases express stronger regret for a more serious mistake. Number five. I should have and I shouldn't have. Use these phrases to say what you wish you had done differently in the past. For example, I'm sorry, I should have called and told you I'd be late. I shouldn't have taken your book without asking. When spoken fast, these phrases sound like should've and shouldn't've. Number six. We deeply regret and please accept our apologies. These phrases are more formal and are typically used in business letters. For example, please accept our apologies for the delay in delivering your order. Your home task. Say the sentence in exercise one in your language. The lesson is over. Good luck.